Look at that. I was doing something. Look at this. Unbelievable. God almighty. Guys, these bluegill are strong. Mm, mm, mm. This episode right here is going to be for beginners. Okay, because I'm going to show you guys this is very simple fishing. Today, for the first time, I'm going to intro. You guys are going to get a good look at my 2021 spring orange Poseidon. I'm running a six foot. And let me tell you this, I'm running the slow death hook. You guys have seen me use the still silver stallion. You've seen me use the emerald. Now I'm going to break out with that um, orange Poseidon. And I want to tell you guys this, we have 55 new rods that are on the market today. All you got to do is just go to camscrappyhole.com. You'll see it right down there. Matter of fact, there's a spot we're getting ready to head to right now. And I'm going to, I want you guys to come along with me because I'm going to, this is what my intentions are. I'm going to try to see if I can catch a few bull brim and then I'm going to see if I can go over here and catch some shell crackers. The shell crackers are kind of scattered, so they may or may not show me love. It all depends. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. We're going to pull up over here. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm using before I get ready to get into the hole. And that way, if you need anything, guys, it doesn't cost a lot of money to do this. I got my slow death one out hook and I got a brand new rod and reel I just strung up about 30 minutes ago. Just put a uh, fishing line on it, just connected the reel, pulled the uh, pole right out of out of the sleeve, and we're just going to come out here and see if we can have some luck. I'm not running a sinker, I'm not, not running a bobber, but if you choose to do that, that's fine. So I'm going to pull up right to this house. I'm only going to be fishing about, like I said, about four feet from the bank and about 24 inches of water. So let's see if we can have some luck. Give me a minute, let me set up, and I'll be right back. Strung this up, like I said, about 30 minutes ago. Matter of fact, there aren't any, any fingerprints on that EVA grip, that soft grip. You can see it says Poseidon right there. Guys, it took me, just like the other ones, eight and a half months to design this. This is my new cams, Orange Poseidon. Let me see if you guys can get a good look at it. Let me get that spider off of there first. Let me see if you can get a good look at it. And I want to tell you guys this before I get ready to get in the hole. And look, this is all I'm running. Doesn't cost a lot. I don't have a split shot on here. I don't have a bobber. Uh, I don't have a swivel. I don't have any of that. It's tied directly to that line. I'm running six pound test. Okay. That's that platinum black slow death cams hook. This is the same hook I'll be running crappy with. Okay. When I run minnows, I want to tell you guys this. If you're interested in one of my Ravens, we're just about sold out. Um, in in two and a half, two months, we're just about sold out of the rods. So if you're interested, you need to go on right now and go to camscrappyhole.com. You know we have afterpay. Uh, you need to take a look at it. So the time for sitting around is, is just about gone. So like I mentioned to you before, we're winding down. We will not be fishing for bull brim and shell crackers here in the next couple of weeks. I'm move, I'm, we're in that stage right now where the crappie is starting to transition into the secondary points okay let me say this secondary points it nothing but a fancy word they're starting to relate to structure okay that's all they're doing and um, so I'll be running minnows I'll be running my stinger shad I'm, I'm not casting and retrieving no more okay I won't be running six foot six two six six you guys will get a, a excellent look they're right on the page right now I'll be running my nine and ten foot yank sticks they're on the page, so if you go to camscrappyhole.com, as soon as it opens up, just scroll down. You'll see it. They're two-tone, white and blue, white to red, okay? And I'll be spider rigging, so we're going to start back catching crappie, but right now, let's get ready to get in there, guys. Get yourself something to eat. Call the family. This is a family channel. Uh, you'll hear no profanity whatsoever on, on, on uh, my channel. And look, all I got is just these red worms. You can pick these up at any big box store, or you can just get them uncover some leaves in your backyard so that's what we're getting ready to do so sit tight let me pull up to this hot spot and we're gonna see if we can start yanking by the way river and poppy told me to tell you guys hello they're on the boat with me right now okay the beds that's what we're looking for the bed and i think i just saw something just gave it away i don't know if you guys saw that little flick i don't know if you guys saw that little flick we may be almost on top of the bed I'm just going to throw it right here where I saw that little flick at. Let's see what happens. If you, a lot of times when you go fishing, you use, oh, 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 let me tighten that drag up. That drag had me messed up. A lot of times if you use, when you go out fishing, whether you're walking the bank or whether you're just on a boat, use your eyes and ears. 
If you use your eyes and ears, a lot of times the fish will give them their position away. We're almost on top of them. Look how I looped that bad boy right there. It looks to be we're almost on top of them. Look at that. There it is. Look at that. I told you. We're right on top of them. We're right on top of these fish. Look at that orange Poseidon. God, God this is a big bull brim. This is what we're looking for. Wow. You know what? Let me pull, let me pull back. We're going, to put, we're going to put some of these in the basket because we're getting ready for a fish fry that's coming up. Let me show them to you. And they're still bedding. I don't want to drop them and I don't want to get stuck, but I want to show them to you guys. This is a brim. This is a bull brim. Let me show them to you. See how purple he is? You see that hump on the top of his head? Okay, get a real good look at him because I'm going to show you the shell cracker on top of that. Let's put this one right here in the, in the water. Put another one on there. And I don't know if you guys noticed. You can tell I get excited. But I got my hook back really quick. That's the advantage of running that one out hook. Poppy's just nosy. River's sitting on the back of the boat. And let me tell you this. The, let me tell you, I want to explain to you guys why I'm using monofilament. Because it floats. It allows me to see what's going on. Time I cast that, that worm in there, I point my rod tip down to the ground so that my line will float on top of the water like this. Watch. See? I don't even reel. I don't do anything. I just watch the line. That's all I do is watch the line. Look at that. Look, oh, we missed him. We missed him. Let's go back up there again. Now, if you want to run a bobber, that's your thing. Okay? If you choose to run a bobber. But I like free line. So that's why you have two or three beds that you, that you deal with. Bingo. Bingo. Just like that. Just like that. That's how you catch them. Guys, this six foot rod, look at that. Wow. Oh man, this is a big bull brim. This is why we get out here and we do this. We're going to have a fish fry. We're going to be frying some fish here real soon. Look at this bull brim. Let me show him to you just as I got him. Look at that. See how purple he is? And the longer he stays out of the water, he's going to change colors. Guys, that's that one out slow death hook. Look how it hooked him right in the jaw. And with that long shank, it allows you to get your hook back just like this. The longer this hook stays out of the water, unequivocally, you're not going to catch fish. This hook has got to go back in the water in order for you to catch more, more brim. For 2021, I want to introduce you to my cams. Water resistant backpack tackle box. Okay, you can see the cams. Up in the top, we just came from Santee Cooper. I want to show you guys, I want to tell you, I had a six pack of Coke, I had a hoodie. I had my cams windbreaker in here. I had three pair of pliers. I had a pair of vice grips. I had all of that in just the upper part, okay? And let me show this to you as well. It already comes with these water resistant carrying cases. Let me show it to you, okay? Everything's brand new, okay? And you have, it's water resistant. Let me zip it up, big, big zippers. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. You get compartments on this side, this side, and on this side, and this side. It's a gigantic bag. You, everything that you possibly think you may need is in this Cam's Crappy Hole bag. And by the way, you can carry everything, and it's also it's on Afterpay. I wanted to tell you guys that as well. The back, you can see the back, it's breathable. The straps are adjustable. And you can just slap, slap it on your back and you're ready to go. We only have these for a limited time. We only ordered so many of them. So if you think that you you may be in the market for a new backpack tackle box, this is the one you want to get. Live bait hooks in a 20 pack. Okay, that is the platinum black, which is what I'm running right now. We have it in a number two and we also have it in a one in a one odd. That's what I'm running right now. If you notice the bag, each one of these are hand packed. Guys, everything that leaves out the building goes through my hands. I look at everything before it's shipped to you guys, okay? We also have it, which you guys have seen me use with the uh, Silver Stallion, the Deadly Blood Red, okay? You can get that in a 20 pack or you can get it in a 40 pack, okay? Um, you can also get the live bait 
hook kit which comes with 120 pieces you can get the combo along with the orange poseidon when you go to camscrappyhole.com open up the site when it opens up just stroll down you'll see the orange poseidon you see the rod by itself and then you'll see a kit if you stroll on down okay i wanted to show you guys that so in case you just need hooks you just get the hooks okay if you need just the rod you get the rod if you need the rod plus the kit you can get all of it and listen as always it comes with free shipping everything in our store comes with free shipping let me put this one back there this towel right here on my lap and i want to say this to you guys while while i'm speaking of towels we have our new uh cams crappy hole hand towels and for all you guys that order from us a rod a sizable order you're going to get a new catalog you're going to get a new brochure and i'll have pictures of them up there in the right hand left hand screen you'll be able to see them um, you're also going to get a sticker and you'll also get a coupon on your next purchase to allow you to get 10 percent off of your next purchase and i want to say thank you guys so much while i'm at it for all the the, the repeat customers that we have guys we have a a 72 percent repeat customer rate and I appreciate that so much that means you guys are liking exactly um, what you're getting that means a lot I just kind of pitch around a little bit to see where I'm located and guys this is for beginners I'm sitting there running my noise hole and I missed him um, this doesn't take a lot this is very very easy to do okay you got one hook two worms and a ultralight six foot orange Poseidon that is probably one of my sexiest reels. I don't know if I would to use that term. My best looking rod and reels. Let me use that. Let's get back up there this time. This time I'm not going to be sleeping, okay? I'm going to have my line ready to go. And listen, this is what we're going to do. We're just going to catch a few, okay? We're going to catch a few just like this. We're going to catch a few. Look at that. God almighty. Guys, this is what pulls me away from cropping. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me say this. I got to show this one to you guys. I got to back up because I have to show this one to you. If you go out scouting looking for these bull brim, if you use your nose, you can smell them before you even get there. I know you guys are back there laughing at me, but let me tell you, as a kid, I always knew what that smell was like, and I've never forgotten it. It's edged in my brain. Look at that. Let me see if I can back it out. That's that bull brim. Guys, we're going to have these with some fries. And I think my guest may also want some three cheese grits. Let's put them in the basket. <laughs> hey, you talking about having a good time? You can see the smile on my face. I want to say this to you guys. I'll be showcasing this on our community. If you want to join us, it's free of charge on Facebook. Just go to Cam's Crappy Hole Community. Let me pull you down a little bit. Let's see if I can get you right. Hold on. Okay. Just go to Cam's Crappy Hole Community. You'll see it right down there on the screen. Or you've been top of the left, right hand corner. Um, we created that. I had about four or five subscribers that wanted me to do that because everybody wants to post their pictures of what they catch. I don't care what type of fishing that you do. Guys, all you have to do is just answer a couple of questions. How did you hear about us? What type of fish you catch? And we let you in. Okay, this is, a, you won't hear any bad language in there. Um, I make sure that I check in every now and again and make sure the language, nobody's getting bullied or anything like that. Guys, we have a good time. At the end of the day, it's fishing. It's fishing. And speaking of fishing, let me show this to you, what I'm catching them on. Guys, this is my new for 2021 spring my orange for sight and you can see the the handle is starting to get uh, a little bit messed up because my fingerprints are on it but it's eva split grip uh iodized gears uh it's a seven ball bearing reel is super smooth extra light um and i've gotten all the way down to the details that i got the ceramic guides on there all the way down to the details of the hook holder okay so I designed this. I designed every inch of this rod, including the two coats of paint that we put on there to make sure this thing lasts you forever. And I want to say this to you guys. Guys, this is an ultralight, okay? It's not designed to catch 25-pound bass, but if you want to battle some big bull brim or you want to battle some crappie, this is what you're looking for. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can show it to you right here. See it? 
cams. Matter of fact, let me pull around right there. Six ball bearing, seven ball bearing, I'm sorry. There you go, you can see it right there. She's The reel is all black, black and orange. I call her Poseidon. There she is. But listen, let's get back up there. We're gonna have some more luck and we're gonna see if we can catch, catch a few more. Make sure you guys get a good view, okay? Again, monofilament is the only line that floats. So I can see when the fish takes off, just like that. I can see it. Look at that. Look at that drag. I can see it. Look at that, guys. This is incredible. Look at the size of this big bull, bluegill. Wow. Let me show this one to you. Right in, the, right in the jaw. Look at that. Now listen, I govern myself. Let me show them to you. There you go. I'm only going to catch a few because I already have some in the freezer. Ooh, man. But let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm just like everyone else out there. You come out here, you start catching um, fish, and you always say, okay, just one more, just one more. Before you know it, you got 20. So I try to keep my number around 10. I try not to get too many of them. And again, all this costs me is, a, is a, a small container of worms. You can get those in your backyard if you don't want to pay $2.50 for it. Okay? And a pack of my slow death hooks, the one op. I got the one op because I get my hook back. Remember, I don't have to use pliers to dig it out of the hook stomach or cut and retie. That takes time. I put that worm on there and I'm back in business because one, one thing unequivocally, like you heard me say earlier, if that hook is not in the water, you're not catching fish. And let me say, let me say this to you. This orange Poseidon along with my silver stallion and my emerald is one of the lightest rod and reels ultralights on the market today. And that I promise you, look at this. That I promise you. Look at that orange Poseidon. Look at this big bull bluegill. I can automatically tell the difference when I'm catching the bluegill versus a shell cracker. I can tell the difference. And let me say this, that orange line I got on there looks unbelievable. Let me show this to you. Let's see if I can back you guys up just a touch. Hey, let me tell you this. While I'm up here excited catching all these fish, River's back there sleeping. <laughs> Look at that. The, the, guys, I hook them in the same spot each time. That's why they're, they're, they're up there in the bed, just like this. You see that? You guys see that? There we go. I got it all over my legs. I really wanted that. All over my knees and everything. That's a longer cast. Let's see what happens right here. Whoa, man. He almost yanked that one out of my hand. Whoa. Good night. Guys, this is a bluegill. Listen, with that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much. This is a great way to end this segment. Look at Poppy. Poppy just looking, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, I want to tell you guys, um, we're just about sold out of certain rods and I really hate putting sold out sign up there, but we have been having tremendous, tremendous support from you guys. Okay. I don't want to lose him. So I'm going to, I'm going to hold him with two hands and he's just, he's just sperming all over the place. Let me see if I can show him to you. Um, so if you see something down there that you may like, I advise you not to think too much. Go ahead and pick it up. Uh, it, you, it comes with free shipping. This is the orange Poseidon. It's a six foot. You, you, you sat right there in the living room of your own home and you guys saw me, um, how it worked, catching these big bull blue, bluegill. And that is that slow death hook. Nobody else in the, in the world has that slow death hook but cams. It's laser sharpened. If you need anywhere from 20 to 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, we got it. All you gotta do is just go to camscrappyhole.com and just stroll down and you'll see it. And also, I want to tell you guys, we also have our second site coming, which is Cam's Crappy Combos, where you'll be able to pick and choose for our more, more sophisticated customers. You'll be able to pick and choose and build your own rod and reel, okay? So you can match this reel with that rod, or if you just want to go in and buy a rod, you just want to go in and buy a reel, you can do that. Let's put them in the basket. Listen, you guys know me. My name is Cam. This is the Big Bull Brim uh, Hole. Until next time, keep those hooks wet, keep those lines tight, and we'll see you on the next turn.